Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and today we are finally back with another snack box video. So as you'll already be able to know from the thumbnail which is on this video, and I've actually already looked inside this box, it's actually a box this time of snacks from Greece. So I'm quite interested to give this one an actual try. Um, like I said, it's been quite a while since I've done one of these, the last one being the French snack box. Uh, and I did really enjoy that one, so I'm hoping I'm going to enjoy this one just as much. So what we'll do is, it's me just recording this one on my own today, so I'll be checking the playback anyway, just to make sure everything's in focus when I need to. So if I'm looking off camera, that's why. So we'll get it opened up and we'll have a look straight into it, see what we've got. Now, I can't really, actually I haven't looked at it for a while, so let's see what we have. Open it up and put it to one side. So what I'll do is, quick look inside the box. As you know, standard, get a little booklet. Uh, which provides you with all the information about the snacks. So I'll put it down. And this is just what the front of the book, box actually looks like. So it looks like I've got some decent stuff in there, some crisps. In fact, what I'll do is I'll grab camera and have a little look. Okay, so we're getting this box actually emptied. So it looks like I've got some strange crisps here. Some uh, little kind of chocolate bars. More crisps. Oh, some sweets in here. Some little kind of cakey things that looks like. Of chocolate, there's like some kind of wafer, a couple of bits and bobs, biscuits, and a drink. So, I just put it actually in this box, that's quite a good one. So, what I'll do is I'll prop the camera back up and we'll get one out one at a time. We'll go through them, give them a try, and see what I like. Okay, so right, we've got everything set up back once again. I'm gonna get the little booklet open so we can see uh, what we're dealing with because a lot of these snacks I'm never gonna be able to pronounce them in the middle of the year, years, and I'll just end up butchering the name so right I've got that open tells you all about the snacks uh, get this to one side what we're gonna do a little bit differently this time I'm actually gonna get the drink out first of all so we can have a little look at that and I've got something to wash down anything I don't particularly like but I feel like I should like everything in here so first of all get to one side can you see that there that's fine okay so we've got a little drink which looks like some kind of cherry flavor drink I cannot pronounce that for the life of me don't know what it is it's a decent size, decent size bottle. It's not too big, but yeah, so once again, whatever that is, like I say, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. But it's some kind of cherry flavored thing. A sweet, refresh, refreshing beverage that evokes childhood memories with its natural sour cherry juice. So it's sour cherry. Oh, I don't like sound that already, but we'll get on a little try. Being awful being cherry should be nice, but it's a sour point I don't like about it. Oh, it's got a bit of sourness, but that's beautiful, that. Oh, yeah. That's a strong cherry. Strong, strong cherry taste. But that is proper nice. Yeah, I really do like that. Nope, that's good. So I've got that to wash anything down that might not be too nice. So we've got a couple of packets of crisps here. We've got two here. So I think there's only, yeah, there's only two in the box. So we'll just give them these a try. Jumbo snacks. I cannot pronounce that once again. We'll show you this one. So that's the one we've got, which we'll get a try. Uh, we've also got some other ones, which just look like Sammy Chris. Um, oregano with flavor. I have no idea what these are again, but once again, give these a try. So, is these paw shaped Greek snacks are a delightful mix of fluffy and crunchy textures featuring cheese and tomato flavor. So there we go, okay, these are all right. Oh yeah, oh I do like little paws. If I focus. Yeah, let's give it a go. A little bit of tomato, but. Mm. They're all right, but there's not much flavor to them. Just, just see if you can get a flavor what these are. Oregano. Flavors of oregano, that's what it says. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, get that. Be nice once again. The flavour's not particularly strong. It's quite a mild flavour. But I think these crisps are definitely better than the other ones. Uh, for the taste of them. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, it's like an aftertaste of oregano. oregano. Hmm. We might need a sour drink for that. Yeah, they're all right. Not the best crisp I've ever had, but quite tasty. Okay, next up, 
let's try some kind of cake bar, some kind of chocolate. So we've got this one here, which is a kiss bar. So see if that focuses on that. Looks so like my, some kind of strawberry or something. Milk chocolate bar with a luscious strawberry flavoured filling. What's not going to be to like on that one? So we'll have a little look inside, see what it's got. Look at the bar. Oh, looks like a good chocolate bar, that. Focus on that. Decent chocolate bar. So, slide that back in a bit. The other half will definitely want to try some of this. So, you want to try? That's nice. It's quite a soft texture, quite soft to chew into. A little bit chewy, but not overly chewy. But that is really good. It's a strong flavour, um, strong, but the chocolate's quite strong as well. So, it is a good combination. No, I'm impressed with that. That's pretty good. Get back in this packet, get in. Kiss. Yeah, decent chocolate bar. A Derby caramel bar. Gotta focus on that. Derby caramel. So it's like it has some kind of chocolate, like nugget and caramel around the top. Um, I've never heard of any of these before, to be fair. So quite intrigued by this. It looks a bit like a lime bar, to be fair. That. So this one is a rich co co oh, it's coconut. Coconut filling in the core, laid with a overload of caramel. Let's give this one a little try. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty good. Once again, I'm making a mess everywhere. I'll have some kill on there. Yeah, I'm going to chuck all of them. Anyway, so, right, so let's give this one a try. That was really nice. You've got the crunch on the chocolate on the outside. Inside is really quite soft. It's tasty. I cannot taste coconut. I don't think I can taste coconut on that. Crumbs of chocolate over there. Um, yeah, I can't really taste coconut with that, but it is really, really nice. So no, not as good. You get the caramel taste, a bit of chocolate, but no coconut. I couldn't taste any at all. No, that's decent, that. Oh, some cakey things I want to definitely try. So we have a Fraulo Pitaki strawberry pie thing, whatever that is. Once again, I'm sorry for butchering the names. Quick overview on that one. Mini strawberry pie is a delightful treat featuring a soft pastry filled with delicious strawberry jam. Pastry, strawberry jam, my favourite of things. This should be absolutely delicious. Oh yeah, look at that. That's weird, that's like some kind of like biscuity thing, but it's quite thick. It's quite hard to touch, it's not. Particularly soft. It's soft in the middle, hard around the edge. So we'll give that a try. That reminds me exactly like having a jammy dodger. That just tastes like a jammy dodger. If you see, it zooms it, focuses on it. Give him a head, do it. It's got a jam in the middle. So there's not a lot of jam around the actual outside of it. It's more obviously in, in the middle. That is really nice, but it does taste exactly like a jammy dodger. Another cake bar. It just says seven days cake bar. Looks like that. So it just looks like a just chocolate and chocolate. Individually wrapped cake bars. Offer a delectable chocolate filled treat with a soft light texture. It's like a weird dessert little bar. Comes out like that. See that? Zoom in that. Focus. Or cake. Let's go try. It does feel really squidgy, really soft. We'll get a go. Mmm. That's really chocolatey. It's really light and fluffy. Yeah, that's really soft, that. It's really, really nice. No, that one. That one. I do enjoy it. That is nice. More cakey kind of bars. Now you see, as for those of you who watch my uh, snack box videos, you know my favourite kind of snacks is your biscuits. I'm more into your biscuits and your chocolate bars and stuff like that. So some of the early snack boxes have all been like sour sweets and I'm not a fan of. Any boxes full of this kind of stuff, I'm going to enjoy. So this one, it looks like a white chocolate. Look at that coconut. What is that one? 
That is a crispy vanilla wafer. Now, a lot of wafer stuff in other boxes, laid with a rich cocoa cream. It's got white chocolate. Bin bar. We'll get fully out. Yeah, we'll get fully out. Pop it. So, focus on that. Let's have a good bar. Let's give it a try. I'll probably do these snack spot videos. I feel a little bit sick. <laughs> it's a lot of chocolate. That is lovely. You can taste the white chocolate, it definitely tastes the wafers. I'm not usually a massive fan of wafery kind of chocolate bar stuff. That is really, really nice. I recommend that for whoever close degrees. Anyway, another drink. Got some little like biscuits. Little biscuits there. These are Miranda biscuits, play with a subtle vanilla aroma. So we just want to open a quick look at and a quick try. I think they're all small. Yeah, they're all small. Thin narrow biscuits. It's nice with like a cup of tea. Yeah, thin, thin little narrow biscuits. Let's get a go. It smells a bit like vanilla. That's good. Actually, they're a bit dry, but look at what this on hand. But that'll be nice with like a cup of tea. Nice warm drink. They're good. Right, okay, so we've got some little sweets. I'm never going to show you what it's upside down. There's crumbs all over the place, all over me, all the table. Our last is definitely going to kill me. Might just give these snacks, forgive me. Right, okay, so we've got some gum, gum on. Make your bit. Ah, it's like, I'm assuming it's like pieces of a little sweets of a burger you put together. Like little burgers. I wonder if these will be sour. I'm going to read these and just let's just see what they are. Looks on that, yeah. Let's give that a try. Nice, nice soft chewy sweets. Well, I've just been playing that for a while. Um, I think you could make it maybe like that. So it's like the bread bun, like your patty, your cheese, and your whatever, and then like a burger. It's got some mild flavours in them, but they are nice. I can't think what flavours they are. Gum on burger. Juicy fruity experience. It's a bit fruity, but it's not it's just a mixed fruitiness, so. They're good. Right, okay, these last things, these little ouzo candy. What, like legit ouzo? No, it's not like legit ouzo. These hard candies bring the essence of Greece's favourite liqueur into the delightful candy form. These are naturally flavoured with ouzo. Uh, ouzo liqueur. I like these. I think they're hard though. This is a hard, yeah. Oh yeah. Smell oozo here, a bit strange. I'm gonna try and chew it. Yeah. Not too bad, but they they were the aniseed. It does remind like oozo and things, but there's definitely like aniseed taste. They will be a sucky sweet. You can chew them, but if you've got bad teeth, don't. But it is nice, to be fair. You think you get, I'm going to go in box. There's three of them in the box, so there's a couple there to try. They aren't bad at all. And the looks it, that is that. So, my favourite thing out of this one is probably, oh, it's, a toss, it's hard, this one. Four things I like is definitely that cake bar, the kiss bar, this cake, and this wave thing's quite nice as well, but I'm probably going to say this jam filled, that is definitely my favourite one. It just tastes like a jammy dodger bidget, uh, bidget, biscuit, jammy dodger biscuit, it's, it's really, really tasty. So before this one, the French snack box was my favourite one, I'm thinking this is probably my favourite one now. This has took the leaderboard in my opinion, really enjoyed it. So yeah, definitely curious to see what we get next. So once again, this snack box is from Snackverse. There will be a link in the description below if you want to go check them out and get some snack boxes yourself. Um, if there's any other kind of food you would like to see me try or anything you'd like to recommend, do let me know in the comments below and I'll look to give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a like. It really does help me out. And also consider subscribing for more content. I'll see you all on the next one.